Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. So we're about to go to the big diamond fort in the sky. But before that, I just got to talk about a couple things because a lot has happened in between this episode and last episode, mainly a whole lot of grinding. So um, just a quick update on the moon. There's not actually too much to talk about, but hey, the moon is happening. Um, I've got this one maxed out over here and this one maxed out, but everything else is being worked on. That's not too important, but let me show you a little something. So what, at, what did I, what level did we leave off last episode? Probably like 50 something. We are now, uh, every, basically everyone's 71 except Magnolia, which is 61. A lot of levels, almost probably 15 to 20 levels on each of them. You could see almost 550,000 peak here. Um, just straight from grinding. I grinded under, um, I don't know what it's called, the grand ship under that lower because that was I think the highest dungeon at the moment. I grinded there a whole, whole, whole bunch and um, obviously got everyone to this level. But what I really want, the only reason I did this was really because I wanted to help with the job levels and I wanted to do certain things. So let me show you what I did. So basically, um... If you guys remember, you was a black mage. What I ended up doing was, um, my strategy with this character was I wanted to have meteor and I wanted to have rain. So obviously, to get those two spells for meteor, you need the time mage, and then for rain, you need a uh, spellcraft. So from a wizard. So what I ended up doing is going ahead and switching him to wizard, maxing him out, and then if we come over here to time mage, I actually completely maxed out. The time mage so we have level six so we have meteor so i basically just maxed out just those two i maxed out the um wizard and the time mage now i i know i had them as the black mage for so long but looking at it meteor is just better the one move meteor is just better so i don't need any of these spells i so i'm just gonna i went ahead and made him a wizard that can use spellcraft gave him the maxed out time mage as a sub easy magnolia i wanted to keep as a pirate so i went ahead and maxed out her pirate along with that as her subclass we had swordmaster so we had her as a swordmaster for a while so she was already like halfway there all i ended up doing was maxing out her pirate which she was already was and then maxed out swordmaster so we could get free lunch here this way that um double uh, so if we go over to the pirate we have this double damage and this is 50 mp here this is very expensive she only has like 300 mp total so what i did is kept her as a pirate and then i maxed out this sword master so we have free lunch which lets her use moves with free mp so this is going to be broken as far as the double damage and i'll be able to use the double damage like two turns in a row it's going to be nuts so long story short maxed out sword master and maxed out the pirate with the dia same thing i had her as a knight and i kept her at a knight all i did was because i was leveling everyone else up i just might as well maxed out her sword master also because i basically during this uh grinding session i maxed out two jobs for each as you could probably tell the trend here um i think sword master is a decent combination with uh knight so maxed out both of those not much to talk about there. And then with Tiz, I basically kind of did the same thing as you, but flip-flopped. I went ahead and he was a white mage. And we're not going to even use white mage anymore, honestly, because I realized the bishop is just better. And in combination with, once again, the wizard, we can now use that spellcraft and use, like, the rain with, or, like, mist with rays. So it's cheaper on the bishop. And I could use spellcraft, so I just think that's better. So now this this wizard actually isn't maxed out, but really all I needed was this level four. I didn't really need ventriloquism. So um, plus the the uh, U has this ventriloquism, so you know. Um, but anyway, so with this I just did the exact opposite. I got rid of the white, turned it into a bishop, and did his wizard as a subclass so you can see their abilities here i changed their abilities a little bit here i think i put this emma tech 20 up on you that was the only difference on here i put axlor and redouble effect on magnolia on idea i put the redouble effect and then on tiz i added the spellcraft here instead of of uh, the but now um i think because of the moon we probably have a party chat right yeah so let's just get this done and then we'll move on with the game here 
I have to say, Fort Loon's looking more likely, more lively every day. If I had to guess, I'd say it's almost 80% of full capacity. What do you think, Magnolia? Amazing, Tiz. I was thinking the exact same thing. But how do you know? Just call it a hunch. After a while, I can just get a kind of see things taking shape, you know? I can also see it in your eyes. We've come so far, so fast. I'm truly going about this the right way. I'm, I am sure I'm not forgetting anything important. I see the joy and the hope in your eyes tempered by caution and a keen awareness of the challenges that still lie ahead. Wow, sir, you can like read minds. I'll say, you might even understand me better than I understand myself. It's nothing like that. Just, you know, I've been through this before. Right. It usually means the world to us to have you on our side. Thanks, Magnolia. In that case, let me give you some one more piece of advice. Rebuilding isn't just about restoring things to the way they were. It isn't. Of course, rebuilding what's been lost is the heart of the process. But beyond that, it's also the perfect time to make changes for the better. Right, sure, we want to see Fort Loon as you remember it in all its glory, but we also want to see your vision of Fort Loon for your people's future. Can't express so much the words mean to me, I won't rest until Fort Loon's I've always dreamed of is reality. That's the spirit. Okay, now, we've done everything, I've talked about everything, let me put my cursor away. Let's go, oh, let's go ahead and give it a quick save here. This is what we're going into, let's head into where we're supposed to go here. The holy pillar! And look! The sky holds closing in on it! Come on, everyone! We need to hurry! Wait a minute, you! If we board the sky hold and it goes inside the holy pillar, yeah, we're screwed. No going back. Literally. Right, I know. Are we truly ready for this? Is there nothing we've left undone? We need to be certain. Tis, Idia, what are you trying to say? When you think about where we're trying to go, it's only natural. This really is the point of no return. I see. What do you think, you? Are we truly ready? As ready as we'll ever be. To the Skyhold! Let's get it. Yeah, and I, I think I am ready, considering... Love. What I've done. Wish pure and true. To bring happiness to the heart of another. I waited. How long I waited for the day when the two of you would meet again. Whether that day marked the beginning for us or the end, I do not know. But of one thing I am certain, true love for another has the power to make miracles happen. Looks like we're entering another chapter here. Okay, same old, um, we saw what that looked like, so we're good. Chapter 4, He Who Would Change the World. Alright, we've docked with the Skyhold. Ready to board. This is it, everyone. Sakura, Mr. Lotus... In the event that we don't make it back, I... don't worry about us. We know what to do. We'll keep the rubber dub ready. More importantly, you come back safe. Here. And when you do, I'll have a warm bath and a hot dinner waiting for you. Yes, ma'am, sir. Right, let's get it. I think we're ready. We leveled up enough. We got our jobs ready. What more can we do, right? The Skyhold. I don't want to say that word. Diamant. This is it, everyone. The Skyhold. Somewhere in here, Agnes is waiting for us. And the Kaiser. Sissa. And the ball. The ball, too. A big diamond, bruh. Uh, over there. That has to be where they're keeping Pope Agnes. All right, everyone. It's time to pour on the gravy. Agnes says, ball busting Avengers, move out! Move out. Let's get it. We have intruders, sire. So, they have come. Leave them to me, your majesty. That's what I'm here for. 
The holy pillar is within our sights. I'll buy us the time we need. You are certain? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I really want to see my dead... No, I really want to see my living parents. But I ain't about to shirk my duties. <laughs> and besides, I'm not going to the past with my tail between my legs because of you know who. Very well. I'll leave rewriting history to you, your majesty. Just make sure it's a world where my parents, their lives and their deaths, count for something. I promise, your resolve will not go for naught. Thanks. That's a load off my mind. Now, I've got a job to do. So long, your majesty. And have a safe trip. Alright guys, let me show you the power of these maxed out classes now. Their hopes and dreams to me. Their sacrifices will not be in vain. I will do my duty. I will deny this world and build a new one from its ashes. Let me show you guys. Um, yep, so um, using the SP, we can break the 999. But sadly, we aren't emulators, so that's not really an option here. Can we go on the diamond? Okay, we can't actually go on the diamond itself, and we can't go that way because the bridge is broken. So this is the only way we go. Yeah, I can't wait for this next fight. I finally get to kind of show you guys what all that effort of grinding was actually for. You know, I, I told you guys about it. I told you guys everything I've done, but I want to show you. I want to show you the damage. The sweet, sweet damage. Oh, is this a... Here, let's make sure. Are we... Okay. Ooh, I'm at 100% encounter rate because that's that was when I was doing my grinding. Okay. Is this another... Is this... It's not a puzzle. It's, I guess I'm just... It's an up and down type thing. 43 to 49, we're literally level 70, so, uh, we're probably a little higher than we should be. A little higher than we should be. But, you know, grinding in this game isn't super hard. That's the one thing I do like about this game, especially in this compared to even Brave. It was easy, even in Bravely Default, it was easy. But in Bravely Second, they add those, uh, you know, like, consecutive battles that, you know, give you that multiplier. It's... It's stupidly easy to actually train in this game. Now, obviously, for me to be this level, it took a while. You know, probably a while that a lot of people just, like, wouldn't even do. But, you know, built different. You know how it is. So there's a chest up there. There's also thingy here. Okay, let's grab this. Okay, the Divine Fists, we cannot really use. Okay, so. um, Let's go over to this one. I want to grab that chest over there. Okay, let's grab this. Where does this take us, is my question. Okay, that's like, not useful at all, actually. Wait a minute. Oh, now I need to go back up. Yeah, that's I don't know why I did that. I just I got curious. I was just wanted to know what happens if I do that. That stair is almost like almost useless. It's a little bit annoying. Let's, let's let's make it come back up for us. And we can continue up the stairs here. Let's see where we're going here. Okay, so there's more levers. Okay, everybody, I just quickly turned on the lights. I just... Y'all could probably relate. I just don't like the darkness. Probably a lot of you don't relate. Y'all, I know a lot of people, um... They can only game in the darkness or only game in the light or however y'all do your things. But I'm one of those people where I can't really game in the dark. Kind of freaks me out, not gonna lie. But that's a story for another day. I just personally just can't do it. I always like, and y'all probably already saw just like when it was in the dark, I was kept doing this because I'm like, there's a little reflection of my glasses that keeps like flicking and it's just like freaking me out. But that's for another day. Right now, we play video games, so I'm trying to figure out where I'm even going. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a 
Tiny bit lost, but it looks like we made it to where I needed to go. Go down here. And go up to... I don't ex particularly know where. Okay, and if we go up here... This is a little bit of like a weird type of maze where it's not like a puzzle. It's just more of like find your way around eventually. I want to make sure I get all these items, you know, or at least the majority of them. Um, no reason to go up there. Let's go up here. Bang. Okay, that doesn't really help now, does it? I need to get up there, don't I? How do I get there? Oh, through here? Yes, through here. And I can go down here. Okay. Oh, that'll bring me to the save right there. Is this a place I can go? No, it's just a giant window. Okay, fair enough. Venture badge. Okay, let's give it a quick save here. No, I don't need that. Don't need that either. Oh, actually, here. Let me go ahead and um, buy some items. I have... 500,000. Let's buy some turbo ethers, huh? What, what am I sitting here being all grouchy about my money for? Okay, let's continue in. This room. I recognize this room. This, this room. is where they've been keeping Anyas. Where's she Agnes, now, though? Are you in here? Anyas! I'm gonna kill you dead! Stop, bro. What are you doing? Magnolia? Dead! I'm gonna kill you dead! Die, 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 die! Magnolia! What's gotten into you? Idiot Lee, I'll make you pay for what you did to my daddy! Huh? I want my daddy back! Now! Give me back my daddy! 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 Bruh, what are I don't... you talking about? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I'm Revenant. Revenant Grace. Revenant, son of Geist. You killed my daddy! You... You're his... My name is Revenant Grace. You killed my daddy. Prepare to die. Magnolia, are you okay? Uh, I, I am now. Idiot. Apparently this little boy can just like possess things. Now I get it. Don't worry, Magnolia. I know who's behind this. <laughs> now you get it, huh? Good. Now I can really kill you. What's with this little kid following in his dad's footsteps, man? I'm good, bruh. Just chill out. Okay, let me now show you guys the power of this new build, but first let's just do a couple defaults here. Nothing too crazy. I just want to make sure I get a little bit of a leeway here. Possess, okay. He possessed one of the guards here. Father, but I had to. He was trying to hurt my friends. 
about the sun. Okay, so now what we can do... Oh, wait. We gotta do that. So, we, do we have to do... I haven't done this. So we Do we need to do four then? So, we need to do time magic, meteor, cast his rain, and then meteor, rain. Okay, we can do that. Now, here, we can do amp strike. See, now, here, we can do free lunch. We can get these amp strikes for nothing, bro. Imagine how strong this is going to be. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. And with Adia, we can do... What do we got for supercharge? N this stuff can't really be used with free lunch, but we can just use, you know, the normal. But we're just going to do stomps for now. Let's just stomp at this random person. And then with Tiz, you know what we'll do? We'll just do... Um... See, God, look at all these new things we can use. It's just, it's absolutely beautiful. We can just use a heal, and we can cast as a mist for now. Okay. Revenant, listen. Let's see what this does. Daddy was going to kill a boy. A boy who loved his father just like you. Don't you see? I had to stop him. Ah, I can't hear you. My daddy loved me, and I'll never see him again. I'll kill you so damn Okay, let's see. I want to see what these meteors look like for myself. Okay, it looks like Magnolia is going to go first. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay, so they're going to counter, but that's not that big of a deal here. She's going to get countered a few times, but she's going to end up killing him. Look at this, bro. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's do that again. So we do the meteor along with the rain. Meteor, then along with the rain. We can do the amp strike. We can actually do the amp strike four times now because that uh, free lunch lasts for two turns. And do a bunch of stomps. Okay, and then we can just do another heal. And then we can cast it. Actually, we don't even need to do heal. How about um, while defaulting? No. Do we even need to do any of this stuff? No, let's just default here. Let's do that, and then we can default here. Okay, let's keep doing these amp strikes. I'm scared we're gonna kill him too early. Look at that damage, bruh. Now, it could be 999 with a couple of buffs, but... Hey. Gotta limit myself somewhere, right? Or I'm gonna be completely way too broken. Okay, so we got the Guardian Asterisk. Now, this is... I could... Let's see what... I need to see what abilities this has, because I might replace the Knight with this. But I don't think so. Possess foes and crush them with the power of your soul. When struck, favor spears. But this is a cool looking class. I, I'd have to see what abilities it has. Because I like the knight, but... Is this how they possess Anya's? I 
wasn't so sure about this cold, clunky armor at first. But that didn't matter. You're back! I was so, so, so happy! I don't want to go to that cold, dark place again. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to disappear. Sorry, bud. Listen to me, Revenant. These were your daddy's last words. Rev, my son, may your soul at long last be free from your father's delusions and from the hatred and grief that has bound us both. Undo. Daddy, thank you, Idia, for telling me and for listening to me. Even when Daddy and I are gone, I know someone will remember us now. You won't disappear. The love you and your daddy shared will live on. So rest in peace, okay? It's what your daddy would have wanted. Mm. I will. Thank you, daddy. I love you. Later, bud. To cling so desperately to his son's soul, only to let go when his own time had come. Do all fathers feel that way? Okay. Let's continue on through the skyhold here. Okay. Uh, where? Oh, now we go through this window. Okay, that makes sense. It didn't let us before, but now this is where we go. But guys, I think I'm going to end this episode off here. I know we're probably not running. Just in case we don't, I'm just going to use them anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment on the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.